So you've planned your practical, you've carried it out, you've presented your results in a table and hopefully a graph, you've done a conclusion, and now you need to evaluate your practical. Here are some questions that can help you to structure a good evaluation. So do you trust the results from your experiment are correct? Now what this could mean is you could check some of the research that you've done and some of the science you've learnt in the lesson and see if they match what you think should happen. You could even look at a different group's results and see if they compare because more results will mean you've got a more reliable outcome. You could look at your graph and if you've done a line graph with a line of best fit you could see how many results fit this pattern and if you've got any anomalies or outliers and how many you've got. You could check back into your planning stage and think did you make it fair things might be a little bit clearer now that you've done the practical and you might have realized that some things made it may have made it unfair so how could you change this in the future did you measure accurately could you improve this in any way did you repeat the experiment so did you get more than one result and if so did you take an average like a mean result this will help to make it more accurate if you follow these steps, you should be able to write a good evaluation. Now I'm going to show you a couple of practicals that were carried out, and I'm going to let you have a think about fair tests. So I'll show you a few of these, and you can decide what things might have been unfair in these practicals. So during a school sports afternoon, it was decided to see if boys ran faster than girls. So John and Jane were timed during this race, and they both started to run at the same time. So you've got 10 seconds to decide what you think might be unfair about this practical. If you said that it was unfair because they weren't starting at the same time, then that would be correct. John has to run a shorter distance than Jane, so that will mean that John is more likely to finish before her. So that has made an unfair test. If you were going to evaluate this, then you would probably ensure that next time you made them start at the exact same point. Jack wants to see if aluminium pans cook food faster than enamel pans. So he did this. What's wrong with this? If you thought it was because the enamel one had got more heat underneath it, then you were correct. In the picture, that's supposed to indicate a greater flame. So that will mean that the enamel one is actually going to probably heat it faster purely because they put more heat to it. So that would be an unfair test. You need to make sure that you heat them both at an even rate. Finally, Sarah wanted to see which object bounced highest, so she set an experiment like this up. So she's dropping balls from a height of one meter onto the floor. What's unfair about this practical? If you said it was because there was a rubber mat under the marble, then that's obviously what's unfair about this one. So doing something like that would change the results and not give her reliable, accurate results.